welcome back to the channel everybody so excited for today's video because i feel like i haven't actually properly vlogged in ages and i mean it's literally only been like a week because last week's videos were like we obviously did the target run and um picked up the boys and everything like that but there's loads to catch up on that i feel like i can only really catch you up on in like you know the nitty grittiness of a vlog so i'm excited to do that today but i missed you guys i'm just getting ready this morning and i actually picked up some new goodies from sephora yesterday we went to the um katie mills mall which is part of the what are the mall groups called the simon they're something called like simon malls and they're like really nice malls the other one is the galleria which is like if you're coming to houston the main mall is galleria but there's like a sister one to it called the katie mills mall i think and they were doing like a massive jurassic world exhibition there that we took the kids to and saint obviously in particular like i just loved it it was actually genuinely really good like before i went i was reading some of the reviews and i feel like with the reviews you kind of always have to take them with a pinch of salt because it's like I feel like some people just love to complain, but it was just like 10 out of 10. If you have kids that love dinosaurs, I'd really recommend it. It was like better than, obviously we've done like Universal and Disneyland and stuff. It was better than like anything I've done dinosaur wise um, at Universal. So anyway, it was really good. And then afterwards we just went for a little bit of a shop around the mall, which was next door. And yeah, I picked up a new foundation. I got the um, Forever Skin Glow, Glow from Dior. I just ran out of my Giorgio Armani one. So um, I'm excited to try this. I really love my Giorgio Armani, but you know, I just want to try something a bit different. I also bought a new concealer because I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape. I've just, I've just, I've had it for ages. I decided I don't really like it. I feel like it always looks really cakey at the end of the day. I don't know if I just didn't get a very good match my colour, but yeah, I just don't really like it. So um, the girl in Sephora matched me to this one. Let's see how they go. But yeah, the um. The Fenty Beauty Concealer, it's new apparently, it's called the We're Even and it's going to be really good especially for like dark under eyes and also puffiness and stuff like that because apparently it's got skincare in it so. Oh yeah, I really, really like that a lot. That is like, let me move over to the window so I can see properly, sometimes in lighting like that you can't really tell. That is really, really nice, like... The coverage I feel like is actually more than what the Giorgio Armani foundation is. And it's definitely like glowy. It just feels nice on your skin. So I got that one in 2.5W. Two, 2 and I got this concealer in 200C. I think I really like that too, to be fair. Like, that is a decent base. I'm very happy with that. Love it when a new makeup purchase goes well. I also bought a new Refi brow pencil. Um, I always get shade medium in this. I've tried loads of other brow pencils, but honestly, Refi is just, like, easy, good value for money. And then I also bought this um, Rainwater Scented Touchland hand sanitizer spray that i've seen everywhere on tiktok i'm just gonna pop that in the nappy bag and then take it with us everywhere so we're now going on week six this week of being in the states and like when i say it like that like six weeks is not a long amount amount of time and i really can't believe just how much we've done in that time like obviously we've spent time in san diego and we were, were like house searching almost every day and then we came over to houston since we've come over to houston we've moved into this place like picked up a few bits of furniture the dogs have arrived our stuff from the storage in the uk is finally on its way to us so that's going to be here in probably about a month now um and i feel like i just kind of need to remember that i've only i've only been living in america for six weeks the pressure has been just on though because i just think like obviously if you've been around kind of since like last summer autumn time you'll know just how long this process has really felt. Obviously at the time I couldn't say anything because we didn't know if our visa was gonna be approved and stuff, but like when we sold the house and then we were just living in like these random temporary accommodations, I was just craving somewhere that just really like felt like my home again. I just think like I'm in such a, like subconsciously I'm just in such a rush to just like feel grounded and settled again. And I definitely do, like I love, 
home here and it definitely feels like home and I think one um, I think the dogs arriving was a huge part of it feeling like home um because I kind of underestimated just how like anxious I was feeling about that I think and then they arrived and I was like wow like I really feel so peaceful now that they are here so I think that was weighing on my mind more than I was giving myself credit for and um I think all of our furniture arriving will like have a similar effect on me um katie is also coming out at the end of next week and we have some really really cool things planned it's romeo's first birthday next weekend so again i'm trying to like get all of my ducks in a row for that um oh, we just i'm just so excited but yeah i would say like over the last maybe like two days are the first times had moments where i've started to notice myself just like missing parts of the uk not parts of the uk but i guess just like parts of my lifestyle in the uk like obviously now it's going on quite a long time that i haven't seen my family and you know how close i am to my sisters and how like much saint just literally adores his cousins and I just think like as we're looking at childcare options and stuff, we were looking into it quite heavily at the end of last week. Obviously there are daycare options out here and there are also options to have nannies. And I feel like in the UK, nannies are kind of like, I don't know, it's a bit more of a, um, like more people send their kids to like nursery and stuff, I feel like, because um, nannies are obviously quite expensive. But out here, daycare prices are so much. Two kids, like ultimately having a nanny is it's kind of like the same price really and i think we're just trying to decide what would work best for our family because obviously the pros of sending them or just saying i don't know we haven't really decided yet whether it'd be just saying or romeo as well um but obviously with daycare you have the option to kind of like get really involved in the community and meet other parents and meet other families and saint can make friends and um, I do think that is something that he is missing. Like at home, Sane is such a social child. Like back in the UK, he we would literally see his cousins and other children his age so, so regularly. And since coming here, and it's obviously only just really been the four of us, I have noticed that he um, he's not like bored, but he's definitely at an age where like we have to be really like stimulating him um and like whenever he speaks on the phone to his cousins and stuff he's like just it's like a different energy comes about him even when the dogs arrived he was just like a new child again like it was just like part of that you know kind of community feeling at daycare is definitely um i guess like attractive to me for saints social life and for our social life too because we went to go and look around one at the end of last week and um good morning it's nearly your first birthday what do you think he's like put that mm. it's your puppy hello good morning hello special boy but yeah we actually went to go and look around a couple of daycare centers at the end of last week and it's just hard because obviously I don't know anything about the schooling system out here. Like I'm still trying to d decide if that's something I want to enrol my children in. You know, life's been pretty amazing having just all this time with them over the last six weeks. Mummy's doing her eyebrows. It's so interesting. Also like if your parents especially of little children you'll know you just need the help sometimes it's been challenging not as in like the kids have been challenging but it's been challenging trying to kind of like balance my time between it all since we've come out here with obviously like no one else other than connor to bounce off like no distractions for them no family so childcare is absolutely something we need but then also our other childcare option being kind of like a, a nanny would give connor and i the flexibility to go out and have like date nights and stuff and also i feel like just have someone else for the boys to like 
have a close bond with out here you know obviously if we went down that route then they would go on like really cute days out with the nanny and they could go to the zoo and like i don't know romeo could be in like the comfort of his home to have his naps and stuff it's just such a big decision and it doesn't feel natural like i my heart really goes out to the parents who have to do this when their kids are like a month old or like six weeks old because it does to me as much as i like recognize that our family definitely needs some kind of child care option it just i feel like it's gonna be fine like when we're when we're doing it but um nothing about it just feels like natural to be doing like i don't like the idea honestly of my kids going to daycare it also feels strange to me to like the idea of handing them over to someone else in my house to look after my children when I'm also there like I, I don't know it's just it's just gonna be a bit of a mindset shift for me I think so anyway that's my update with that I don't really think that's something I'm gonna like update people with online because obviously like it's my children and it's their safety and I don't really want the internet knowing like you know about that I thought there's an element to like motherhood that I definitely like to keep offline and private um but yeah I just feel like it's relevant to discuss because it's something that's really weighing heavily on my mind right now so I don't know we'll have to see how it goes it's so cute <laughs> They're literally closed on Mondays. You're Monday's joking me. Monday's the only day they're closed. It's our favourite breakfast taco place. The dog park's closed on Mondays as well. How crazy is that? People just don't like Mondays. I mean, I don't blame them. I'm part of that crew. No, lol jokes. I'm like <laughs> all about Monday morning start it's strong. Okay now. Yeah, yeah, it's over now, Dad. Damn it, I really, really wanted Damn it. breakfast taco. Well, look, luckily, you're, I was in a, feeling it. you're in a state which borders Mexico. So I'm pretty sure there'll be a, <laughs> a taco spot anyway. <laughs> That's what they call Tex-Mex. Wow, guys. Okay, morning dog park trip, everyone. Great job, Saint. I can't believe how just like grown up Saint seems to me all of a sudden i just feel like he's got so tall recently oh. anyway we're at this huge park Pardon? thank you has loads of different sections to it like loads of playgrounds splash pad dog park dog parks are a huge thing out here it's just essentially like massive green areas um, no come on Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> By the bench. This would be such a cute place for a picnic. Picnic in the park. Need to get like my picnic gear together because it is picnic season. There you go, mate. Before it gets too hot in the summer. Yep. Get a cute picnic bag. Make some sandwiches. Live our best family life. Get a few you know. Strawberries. Yeah. Good pro, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Woo! <laughs> uh oh, it's a battle to the ball. Who's going to get it? Good job, guys. Good swimming. I know. Look at them. Well done. My little dolphins. Three, two, one. Wow! That was a great throw. Yeah! Good job, mate. Oh my goodness! Come on. What are you doing? You're in the swing! <laughs> Look at you go! Come on. I'm just knows this chief's coming for his side. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Wow, this is like a great park. Yeah. Best thing about 
Houston is exploring all the new parks, right baby? Hey, I have a good idea. You can climb up on here and then go on there. Come on, you can do it. Excellent job. And then can you walk over this way? Hold on, hold on. Big step. Yes! Well oh, done, no. Sam. Now you come up. I can't come up. Well, what about? I ring Dad to get you up. Dad! <laughs> Mum needs you help. Romeo says he wants Romo's to go. Romeo's on his way. Oh my God, guys, I legit just drove in America for the first time. Oh. Did you see me? I saw you cruising, honey. Saint said, good job, ma'am, when we parked up. It was actually fine. I've literally been so yeah, anxious fine. about driving in America. Like, I, I actually wanted to book myself a driver's lesson and stuff like that. Obviously, like, I am a driver, but I just feel like with the, like, road change and stuff, I just get so confused. I did actually get confused. I was driving on the left-hand side of the road, and then a car came along, and I was like... <gasps> And I like darted over to the other side. She probably thought I was drunk or something. It actually felt nice to be behind the wheel again though. Like, yeah. I, I'm one of those people that enjoys driving. Connor's the absolute opposite, but he's been designated driver this whole time because I've been too anxious to drive. But I need to get like an American driver's license and stuff like that because it's just another form of ID out here. So I need, I need to get a wriggle on with it. Okay. You know when you just put the baby down for a nap and you can hear strange noises coming from their room like squawks and giggles and you think they're not asleep up there are they? We have just got home and I'm just having a little bit of lunch. I made the nicest dinner last night guys. Um, it doesn't look like much honestly it doesn't look like it's gonna be as delicious as it actually is it's one of those but i made it for dinner last night and i literally could have licked the freaking pot clean it was beautiful rationed it and i saved some for my lunch today because i just loved it so much so it's literally chicken breast bacon red onion put it in a pan let it cook and you just add um reduced fat cream cheese um some ranch seasoning but we didn't have any like seasoning we only had ranch salad dressing so i added some of that and it worked absolutely fine um what else was it um a bit of chicken broth not much like literally half a cup um and i'm pretty sure that, that was it but it, it was literally like so oh and a bit of garlic powder and a little bit of parmesan too like i literally just sprinkled it on um spring onions would also work really nice with it too i cooked it for us last night with um mashed potato and asparagus and i cooked the asparagus in olive oil garlic and again a bit of parmesan and lemon pepper like it was one of those meals that i was like i'm so happy to be in my own house like, being able to cook dinners again because i just have like missed it so much it's relatively healthy too like it's not a bad meal it's definitely for my girlies who are very much like me who like don't like like i just can't eat like plain chicken rice and broccoli every day like that's just not me i need to have a little bit of flavor so today i've got it with a bit of rice um yeah like i said romeo's gone down for his nap i hope i don't think more so saint's just having a little bit of quiet time playing with his train track and um i'm gonna just do a little bit of like housekeeping around the house we've got loads of laundry that we need to do in the sides just tidy up so i'm gonna enjoy my lunch quickly and then get to work okay this is the current um update of the utility room we had our washer dryer fitted um i really need to figure out what i want to do with this room decor wise i'm thinking like just pushing them up together getting a nice like laundry system storage thing here and then maybe like a little chair or something in that corner honestly like our laundry has just looked like this like a big heap on the floor so i need to put one on right now such a good helper <laughs> this is looking like it's gonna be a majority whitewash promo don't you think Milani, which is exciting. I'm gonna put them away. Gummies. I have to do. That's okay though. Good job, honey. Get them in the fridge and get your arms up. Please. Yes. Yeah, we've got one each. Let's go. Let's do a quick taste test. What's 
So what flavour is this? Watermelon. Cherry twist. Mmm. Mm, it's nice actually. Mmm. It can be a nice energy drink, can you? <laughs> you like that one? But you're not the 1970-1975. This is our new favourite song, guys. We like this one and... What's the other one we like? Down Swinging by Holly someone. You like that one. I, Connor, don't even act like you <laughs> were dancing your heart out. <laughs> down the Houston uh, Highway to that one. I found day. this one though. This one's a little bit better. I could blare this music out though. Driving down the, towards the beach in San Diego Jeep, White Wrangler, windows open, Sam. roof off. Listen, San Diego will be coming one day, won't we, Con? Yeah. One day, Low key. next year, 1970, then 1975. <laughs> Let that long hair loose, honey. <laughs> Hi, everyone! We're gonna win! <laughs> you guys always win! Looking at a new soft play today, another day, another soft play. Found this one on Instagram. Oh my lord, Saint. Look at this place. Wow. Mind blown. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day. I'd love to read it with you, darling. Connor took Saint to the library the other day. Um, Mum or parent hack, if you aren't like making use of your local library, you guys need to try it out. Like, even in the UK, we did it all the time. If your kids love reading books like Saint does, it's just like so amazing and um it's been wonderful since we've been out here because the kids books are in storage in the well i was gonna say in the uk they've been picked up now um and they're on our way to us but while we haven't got all of his books it's been really fun doing new books at the library so what's this one we're reading at the moment saying this is your absolute favorite this one isn't it mm. cars and trucks and things that go by richard scarry and it's like a really old book um but it's been like modernized and stuff but it's just a whole book of lots of different cars isn't it we love it fruit play i've just put one of these in the oven for me these kodiak thick and fluffy power waffles buttermilk and vanilla um, kodiak if you've never heard of the brand kodiak they're really big out here in the us and they're like a um like a protein brand like they do like protein porridge protein pancake mix um so i'm gonna have one of those with i think some nutella and banana this morning really enjoying experimenting with different breakfasts since we've been out here i don't know why there really has been something about me that has just shifted so much since moving to america like i just I know it sounds like a really silly thing to say because at the end of the day it's only breakfast but um my kind of like i don't know i just feel like my zest for life has been re-sparked and like i'm excited to try different breakfast foods <laughs> you know i feel like it's just like romanticizing the little things when you feel like you can do that and you're like in tune with that that's when you know you're happy in life and for me at the moment it's romanticizing different breakfasts yesterday i had just chicken sausage bacon and some fried potatoes i really wanted eggs too but we didn't have any um what did i have the day before that i'm really enjoying breakfast smoothie oh, smoothies at the moment yes yeah, sorry darling let me read this with you okay well can i sit on that of course i can look at that sticker i know it's yellow it's got things in it clever boy and there's a big hippo that's a big hippo isn't it but he doesn't have bilgos he doesn't have his hat on. No. All right, so I got a couple of packages yesterday that I thought I could open with you guys. These ones I actually already opened. They are the coolest hats that I actually ordered off of Amazon. I know I've spoken about this a lot on here since we've been doing all of the America vlogs, but recently I just feel like I am really like trying to find a sense of style again because I just feel like I've been wearing the same like five outfits on repeat. So I've done huge clothing orders that i'm really really excited to arrive i think the first one's arriving today um 
maybe a couple are arriving today actually but I'm not going to keep them for this vlog I'm going to do that for the next vlog because I really want to like talk in depth about um like my new kind of style that I'm trying to incorporate with myself as we move into summer time now um also like obviously out here it's so hot and it's going to be really really hot through the summer and I wouldn't say I'm at like a a point in my body where I'm actually 100% confident um like don't get me wrong the gal loves herself but um yeah just you know when you go through peaks and troughs with your kind of body image and right now I just I'm not feeling like a million percent confident um so I thought it would be like a bit of a fun series to kind of like share how I dress I guess because I wish I could say that like body confidence just comes really easily to me but like so many of us I think like nearly all of us to be honest our generation of women it's just like such a sad case that I just don't really feel like any of us are you know as confident as sometimes it may seem um so yeah and obviously sometimes I feel like because the summertime you're wearing less clothes you feel kind of like more exposed yeah this is just your reminder that like you deserve to feel great regardless of whatever you wear or what kind of stage your body is in right now like you still deserve to feel good and so I'm on a bit of a quest to find clothes that make me feel good I mean the clothes that I do have I love like this is a very old free people dress um that I maybe bought like four summers ago now it's seen me through both my pregnancies um I have lots of memories in this dress on holidays and things like that so I kind of have like my staples of things that I like to wear this has gone on such a big tangent from literally just like two caps <laughs> but um yeah I guess I'm trying to just shop more sustainably in the sense that I will invest more in pieces that are gonna last me for years like I'm so I'm so happy when my idea of how long I want a piece of clothing to last actually comes true because when I first bought this dress I remember thinking it was probably one of my first purchases from free people and I remember thinking like oh okay like it's obviously more expensive than your kind of like typical 30 quid dress from ASOS but hopefully it will see me through and it definitely has and it just it's like just such a nice free flowy beautiful color I'm so happy with it so yeah I'm just like trying to be just kind of trying to be more clever and more mindful with my clothing purchases and I've done that in the clothes that I've ordered so as soon as they arrive in the next vlog um I'll definitely share with you but I just thought these caps were so fun and obviously as well very like Texas fitting with the cowboy and the rodeo so just love them and then we actually also got this through from Bath Country Pets which is the kennels Although I'd never like to call it kennels because Bath Country Pets is so much more than a kennels. It's really like a luxury dog hotel. And um, OGs will remember this company because this is the company that we literally sent Herbie to when we first got Herbie. Herbie, neither of our dogs ever boarded anywhere else. They always boarded whenever we went on holiday or anything like that at Bath Country Pets because we just honestly like love their business so much it really is like a home away from home for them they have like a grooming salon they have the most beautiful countryside walks it's literally like on the outskirts of the Cotswolds um the boys honestly I think if they could have like chosen they would have genuinely preferred to live there instead of with us because they just literally loved it there that much like it was so so sweet the bond they had with them all and they just always took the best care of them so that's where they were um in the five or so weeks that we were in the us and obviously waiting to figure out where we were going to be before we get them shipped over and they have actually sent us this tell me why this is literally going to make me cry already oh do you know what guys it's just really rare that um like a company or a business that you just like you just love the people there just like genuinely really good really kind people that also just happen to be really really good at doing their job that's just how i feel about bath country pets like honestly so oh my god 
These are all the pictures of Hector and Herbie. Country pets, look, that was Herbie when he was literally like a tiny baby. This is just the most thoughtful thing. Friends are bound for distant shores with dreams and new and adventures in store. Two loyal companions by your side with Viking tales they cannot hide. The bond that binds through joy and sorrow. Why am I crying? In every dawn and each new tomorrow. Though miles may stretch and oceans wide, in our hearts you'll ever reside. Oh my god. Thank you for entrusting us with your precious boys, Hector and Herbie. We hope you love this memory book with love from the Bath Country Pets team. like yeah when the when they kind of like were messaging me saying that the boys had been picked up through the um like, company that they were going to be sent on the plane with i got really emotional then because i was looking back at old pictures and like they'd literally looked after the boys for us on our wedding day and they sent through loads of really cute pictures of like them in bow ties saying happy wedding day and just they've just like it was just a business that were there for us through all of the really big moments and all of the really shit moments and just like they were just so so wonderful and as well it just i don't i because like the boys were obviously the last thing to leave the uk it made it feel so much more real like i feel like bath country pets were really like our last kind of port of home in the uk because when we left the uk i feel like even though we knew we were moving to america i didn't really know what to expect out of the experience like we didn't know really what was on the other side i guess we didn't really fathom just how long we wouldn't be seeing people in the uk for like our friends and family but like it sounds really like silly saying that because obviously if you, you know if you're moving abroad you know that you won't see them for ages but it's hard to kind of like put your mind in the experience of really missing people because you haven't seen them for like maybe a year no however long it's gonna be um but when herbie and hector left bath country pets obviously that was only like a few days ago and um, thank god they are settling in so well like literally you would have thought that they'd have been here the same amount of time as us like they're totally fine they've adapted really really well i'm so happy they're here um but like when they left Bath Country Pets, it, it like because we were actually out here living it and experiencing living in America, it was really like, oh my God, like the boys leaving them, like that's the last thing. Like no, then we really are here and it was just easier to connect to that feeling, I think, because we had already been here for so long. But I did actually wake up this morning feeling quite homesick and it was for the first time since it's happened in the last six weeks and i don't know why i don't know what brought it on now that i'm like up and awake i don't feel it as much it's just one of those things you know like in the night time or like when you're half asleep you can really overthink stuff and i think that's just the space i got to and yeah i don't know i, I guess i just feel like all of a sudden like kind of the not necessarily the novelty of having moved here is wearing off because it's not that because i don't feel like it was a novelty because it's still just as exciting to me like i'm still just as happy to be here it's more just that the feelings of we're not catching a flight back to the uk are seeping in and yeah i guess things like you know looking at childcare as i know i've already discussed for the kids and like it's just like life moving on a little bit is um it's just starting to hit now i guess look who's up thing I've ever seen in my whole life. You are. Oh my god, Nash. I'm so lucky to be a boy mum. I'm gonna have to wrap this chat up now because obviously Romeo is awake so we need to get him sorted but I just, I don't like feel homesick. I just woke up feeling it today for the first time and I think it was just a bit of a like, because it's a feeling I haven't had yet. Obviously it was gonna be inevitable but we're just... <laughs> oh my god, he was the cutest thing in the world. I'm really glad that Katie's coming out soon because I feel like I feel like all I need is just like a hug from someone from home and then it like yeah, that's like kind of all I'm really craving. But um anyway, 
Right, I'm going to go and sort Big Boy out. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I am just having the best time vlogging at the moment. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we just have fun, don't we? We just like it. Like it. This cheeky smile. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're loving the vlogs, then make sure you subscribe for new videos. And also, I'd love for you to comment below. Obviously, like, I try to vlog everything and anything. But I would love to know what exactly you like to see in the vlogs. So, if you have any ideas, then comment below. Or DM me on Insta. Guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.